Still to come on ATP World Tour Uncovered. There's double trouble with the Bryan brothers, hitting all the right notes. And 24 hours of blood, sweat and tears. We find out just what it takes to get through a day in the life of a tennis pro on tour. You know, I think you have certain rules that you have to follow, and you know, it's a tournament time, so we want his body running really smooth and clean. And I think, you know, it's that old saying, you know, you are what you eat. We're gonna be going into the gym, we're gonna build muscle, his body's banged up. So we went with the little eggs for that. And uh, you know, obviously it's got his avocado and his spinach in there, which is, which is awesome because you need the greens. So yeah, this is his little rocket fuel right here. I love uh, the spinach and the avocado and the fruit. Raspberry is probably my favorite thing. The oatmeal, getting that down some mornings, not so much. But uh, I like to throw some yogurt on top of that, on the oatmeal, and, and that's how I usually eat it. I mean, we're looking at three to 4,000 calories a day, I'd say. I can eat, you know, 30 minutes before I go out there. I'd rather be full out on the court than, you know, not eat for two hours and go out there and have nothing in the system. I mean, you want to be drinking the water the best you can, you know, eating the right foods, whether it's on grass, Gravel. Truth your mouth shut. Sorry. All right, that's a zap. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a little stretch first. I thought it was a little bit more important today to do a really good stretch and a little bit of a massage uh, on his legs just to get some knots out. So I'm going to start him off with a little hamstring stretch here. You feel that, buddy? A little more. A little more. Communication is key. <laughs> you do it. You feeling that? Yeah. yeah, so he's a little tight, but you know, when you have a guy like this, you know, flexibility is huge because it allows... He's always got to stay on top. You've got to be a little stronger than these guys, don't you? <laughs> See? The guys got to keep me on my toes every time. This is the kind of stuff that's going to take them, you know, to crack the top 50 for the first time. It's, you know, it's going to get them... He needs to get a little faster, a little stronger, a little healthier, and this is the kind of stuff that does it. He's got to play a match in two days. Yeah. He's got to play Vince Spadia ain't afraidia. You don't. You do push-ups. You do sit-ups. Yeah, you can do jumps. You can do little sprints outside. You can um, do your leg squats and all that. You can, you know, wrestle each other. Find someone to wrestle. With. <laughs> no. One, two. Keep it smooth. Three. Good. Four. Oh my God! I <laughs> dropped right in the eye. <laughs> I drew some sweat in his eye. Oh, right off the beat. <laughs> Well, I, I took a Back shower, on. if that accounts for anything. I used Back Dove. On. All right, you can spy yourself. Good. Good. You're on five, you need seven more. Three, go all the way down. Just that's better right there. Good. Come on. Good. You hit my computer, I'm giving you the bill for $2,000. That thing's worth 500. So, uh, flew in last night. I flew Washington to Charlotte and Charlotte to LAX and got here at 8 o'clock and then. 20, yeah. yeah. The bags were going around. My bags didn't show up. Priority baggage, too. And, uh, you know, just waiting for the bags now. They said they might be delivered at 12 or 1. And I actually checked my tennis bags, and I never do that. And uh, they're actually waiting waiting to get those as well. So we'll see uh, how I have a good hit with uh, somebody else's racket for an hour. You know, ideally you'd like to have a very good practice, but having lost his bags, he's using, he's got one racket that is strung really loose with gut that he doesn't even use, and the the uh, grip size is about two sizes too short. So you, know, to, you have to kind of take a practice like this with a grain of salt, hope the racket show up really soon, and um, and just, you know, have him, have him bust a good sweat right now and, and hope he gets a Tuesday start and, you know, try to get two good hits in for tomorrow. Uh, it was all right, you know, just out here getting a sweat and get a feel for the courts. Uh, didn't really worry about too much how I was hitting the ball because uh, I'll hit again later, hopefully, when I have my rackets. This is just uh, probably the first time I have done this my whole career without my rackets at a tournament, so kind of different. Get your rackets. Got my sticks. 
Just picked him up at the airport. I don't know if I'd usually do this, but usually a couple days before turn would be all right. But, uh, you know, out here, have a little fun, see what it's about. I'm not really the most superstitious guy or have any rituals. You know, I kind of just like to stay by myself, uh, you know, an hour prior before the match and just kind of zone out in my music. And uh, then 15 minutes before, I kind of take the music out of my ears and have my trainer run me around a little bit and, you know, kind of get used to the court, go out, walk around the court a little bit, and just pretty much go from there. After a match, if I, if I win the match, you know, obviously everybody's in a great mood, everyone's pretty happy, and, you know, you're showering next to the guy you probably beat, you know, so you kind of keep it pretty mellow around him. And no, it's a, you know, it's a good, uh, good atmosphere in the locker room for myself, but if you lose, you just bust that locker open and you start throwing crap around. And that's usually how, uh, how I react to losses, but a little more chill nowadays, but uh, early on in my career, definitely smacking things around. I'm gonna go up, have Paul stretch me out and give me a nice little massage after this match. Obviously, I played really well to beat Vince like that. Uh, was moving well out here, served well today. And just, uh, you know, we'll shut it down, get a little nice little massage, ice my knee, and then uh, head back to the house, have a nice meal, and uh, watch a little movie.